Okay, I don't know. Why did you have to do dyx equals x plus six y. And your, your condition is that y of zero is seven. All right, so I guess this is linear. Right? Mm -hmm. So what do we have to do first? We have to put it in standard form. Standard form. Standard form. So we subtract the six, six y. Six y dy dx uh, minus One six y. Six y <laughs> equals x. x. You'd be famous fellow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay, so now the mu, the mu, there's a negative here. Yes. So, so you got to be really careful, because mu is really plus negative 6, six right? Yeah. So mu of x is e, e to the integral, integral of, of negative, negative 6, six dx. dx. That's easy, right? That's easy. Make sense, Shasha? Still with me? Uh, All right. Good, e good to stuff. the negative 6x. Why is that so easy? It's like mm -hmm. the easiest problem. Okay, and then we multiply everything by... Well. E to the negative, e to the negative, six, negative six x. x. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is e to the negative six x dy dx. And then there was this. Uh, oh, same thing here, right? Mm -hmm. Minus, Minus six, six e to the negative six, six, six x y, y equals equal x. x to the negative six x. Right? E to the negative six yeah. x. Yeah, don't worry about it. That is your view. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. You going? Kaylin, are Kaylin's? Were you working on your own? Are you doing it? Yeah. 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 You make it this far. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm Further? still writing. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Keep working, keep working. Stuff, right? <laughs> so this is the derivative of what? So e to e the to negative 6x times y. Times y, you got this. Yeah. You got this, good stuff. Equal to, equal to this. Equal to the right side. Oh, and the nice thing is, so I see I see why, not Philip, I feel like, you know, you said to do this one, I'm like, why, this is, this is a good problem. The tabular. That's right, we're going to use tabular when we integrate this, right? So it'll be a little bit more... I told you. Yeah, you've been vindicated. <laughs> <laughs> So, so now we're going to integrate both sides, mm -hmm. right? When you integrate this side, the d dx just goes away, right? And here, uh, you know what? Can we squeeze a tabular in here? Yes, yeah, please. Yeah, you can you just do squeeze it, it in here. So, see, so x, x one, one, zero, zero, and then e to the negative six x, and then divide by negative six. So negative so e, to e to the negative six x over six. over six, and then e to e the negative to the six x over thirty six. Thirty six. Yeah, six times six is thirty six, right? And it's positive. Yes, yeah, positive. Plus. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, plus, and then the arrow straight across. Beautiful. Yeah. And then just write it straight out, right? Write it straight out. We integrate, we get this guy. So e to the negative 6x times, times y, y mm -hmm. equals, equals, and then these right here, right? So it's uh, x times. That's no, negative, right? Negative. Yeah. Yeah. Negative. So I'm going to write it as negative 1, 6. Oh, okay. I should have done that too late. And then e okay. to the negative 6x. Actually, this was, this was a little bit harder than I thought because of the tabular, right? Mm -hmm. So I think uh -huh. that. That does, and tabular is probably going to come up on the exam. I mean, every uh, <laughs> always, always, yeah, always. I always. love tabular. I love tabular too. I remember when I first did it, uh, I was just like, uh, "It's a magician." Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> reason to be alive. Yeah. And then to finish, you just divide by e to negative sex. Mm -hmm. How nice! Oh, but we're not done. No, no we're not. Because after you do this, well, these Still cancel. Yeah. We got to find c. Oh, I remember this problem. I was doing this problem last weekend, and I got it wrong. And it made me want to give up. That is um, <laughs> like everything. Like it made me want to like quit and not do anything. That's our why, or do we? Have that's to, our that's why. Also why. Okay. And I had messed up with like the adding of the fractions mm -hmm. or something. Did I mess up at all? No. Oh. Okay. Hope not. No. Because once you plug um seven in and zero. So it's in, yeah, it's impose the initial condition. Mm -hmm. So impose the IC. So seven so you equals have zero, one. zero minus one over thirty six. <sighs> Uh, plus, and then this is just e to the zero, so it's just c. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. Okay, so it's going to be c is seven plus one over thirty-six. No way. Is that right? Yeah. So you have to write that as oh, calculator, calculator. Or actually, we can write it as um. Forty-two, fifteen. You do the old school way. Seven and one thirty-six. Is this right, guys? No, I don't think so. Let's go with it. What's 36 times 7? 30 That's times 7 is 210. 36 times 7 is 252. Yeah, 252 because 42 plus 210 is 252. So no, 253 over 36. 253 over 36. 253 over 36. And if this is wrong, then we can just give up. So I'm going to erase this. <laughs> so, so y is equal to negative x over 6 minus 1 over 36 um, plus... 253 over 36. 253 over 36. And I'm going to bring this upstairs and write it as e to the 6x. And that's it. That's it right there. That's it. That makes sense? Oh. Plus 253. Are you still recording? 
so weird. You can stop recording now. <laughs> <laughs> so Everybody's in the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>